Hey Aries, I hope y'all are doing well. This is going to be a general reading for November 26th through the 30th. Any information you need, Aries, you can find it in the description box down below. I do have personals open right now. It is a three question video reading. It's 2828. You get it within 48 hours. Everything is down below, Aries, of course, only if you are interested. This is for Aries, November 26th through the 30th. <clears throat> All right, Aries. Um, so it seems to me as if um, there's some sort of decision coming your way. You have the Two of Cups. Like immediately when I saw the Two of Cups, like because the Eight of Wands is right before it, I feel like there's some sort of decision that is uh, coming your way here. I feel like you're going to have to make a choice. Uh, you do have the Magician showing up as your very first card out. We're going to be clarifying everything, but the Magician, this is Virgo and Gemini energy. So you can see with the, uh, like the arm is pointed up at the sky and then there's one that's pointed down below. Um, so with that energy, like being present there, that talks about like as above, so below, like the magician is a channel between heaven and earth. And, you know, I do feel like this is something that is manifesting. Like you have manifested this, whether you realize it or not, like this could be something that you were thinking about manifested unintentionally. You know, the, the energies don't look bad out here. So I will say it's, like, it's not something crazy, you know? But, uh, yeah, it's like God's plan is unfolding here for you. There's something that's showing up. We have the Eight of Wands. Some of you, it's an unexpected message. Hang on. Some of you, it's an unexpected message uh, with this Eight of Wands energy. Some of you, it could be, um, you know, an unexpected visit, all right? This could be happening around November 28th, all right? That could very well be the case here um, with the Eight of Wands showing up here, the Two of Cups. You have the Two of Cups. Um, so this is another reason I think for some of you, it could be a visit because Eight of Wands can sometimes represent like travels and things of that nature, but also like face-to-face, -face, you know, like they are face-to-face -face here. Um, so I definitely feel, you know, you could be running into someone. They're visiting you unexpectedly or they're calling or messaging you unexpectedly. That's the energy that I feel here. But I think that it's something that is really important um, for God to place in your hands. God, source, spirit, universe, right? Um, to place in your hands. Somebody here could have Venus or their moon or rising sign in Cancer, okay? You don't necessarily have to, but um, the energy is here with the Four of Cups as well. You have the Ace of Swords. Um, and I want to bring it back for a second to that Two of Cups because... I said you might have to make a decision, and I think that that's why, you know, because the twos can talk about being at a crossroads or having to make a decision, and you have the Ace of Swords here. I feel like whatever this news is or this visit, it's bringing in some clarity. It's bringing in some truth that um, maybe wasn't there before, right? However, Four of Cups is here. I really do feel as if for some of you, Aries, like you don't want to hear this or you don't want to see this. Like it's kind of giving me that energy where you don't really want to deal with this on this day. Let's see what else we have here, Aries. What's going on with this <clears throat> energy here around the 28th? Man, Aries, I feel like this is someone trying to make peace with you. Some of you, this could be um, like a sibling or like a family member, or it's possible that this is someone who may have ghosted or just walked away. Um, it's possible that you wanted to resolve something, reconcile in a situation, and they just kind of turned their back on it, and now they're wanting, like, they're wanting you to show them patience and to show them grace and reconcile with them over that outcome. That's so odd to me um, why this is happening. you got the um, Eight of Cups here with the empty space. It seems to me as if this person is feeling unfulfilled. Like whatever it was that they went chasing after, it did not fulfill them. Um... Or they're not like they're not happy with the choices that they made in the past, but they did walk away from this. Is the energy I get? You have Temperance and the Star. It might be a Sagittarius or an Aquarius. Uh, it could be any sign, but these energies here, like they want healing, they want peace, harmony. With that Temperance card showing up, they want resolution. Let's see what else we have here, Aries. Another two is showing up. Like, I'm not sure why it's coming through so strongly as God's plan for you to make a decision about this. Like, okay, 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 Aries. That makes perfect sense. Well, um, so basically what this is, is it seems to me as if God, source, spirit, universe, whatever you believe in, they want you to choose to move on rather than moving on out of force if that makes sense it's almost like there's a test to see if you have learned something here like are you moving on because they gave you no other option or are you moving on because like you're genuinely like past this you have evolved so far past this person it's it's crazy so yeah i feel like spirit's kind of sending this in and you're like what in the world like why is this here and i feel like it is um 
you know, it is in the cards for you to move forward. You have the sun here uh, moving on to a new beginning. This is happiness, high vibrations, joy. You got the two of wands. He's clutching this wand ahead, if you'll notice. He's not bothering with the one that's behind, you know? Um, and so I do feel, again, this is about a decision. Another two showing up here, choosing the new beginning, choosing the new path moving forward. You can see um, these tumultuous up and down waters over here. He's getting away from those. He's moving on to these calm and still waters over on the other side. So yeah, you're like, I appreciate it, but you know, I have peace, harmony, and balance already regarding this situation. So yeah. I feel like a lot of you, you're really focused on forward movement here, and that's exactly what the plan has been. It's not that this person is coming back so you can restart something or to cause you grief. It's more of like spirit wants you to choose it for yourself so you can really feel that sense of pride and understand and have trust in yourself when it comes to did I grow or did I not grow? You know, did I grow because I had to or you know, did I grow because I wanted to and I chose it? So interesting. Let's see what else we have here, Aries. Anything else for Aries? Regarding this time frame here, the 26th to the 30th. Pisces and Cancer energy. Possibly somebody here with one of those as their moon sign or a Libra moon. There's somebody thinking about you at night here, Aries. There's something going on at night, I feel. You have another two showing up here. I feel like this person's just kind of lingering in your energy, unfortunately. I'm trying to get additional messages regarding this time frame, but you could be thinking about this person during this time, and this may very well be why right here, because they're trying to approach you. But I will say, I'm also getting this energy that there could be something going on at night. Like there's some sort of stressor here. What's happening with this energy? Some of you are like contemplating something, stuck at a crossroads here. What's going on with this? Some of you, it might be about something that's been hidden, something that's stressing you out, Seven of Cups, something that's confusing you. Yeah, I feel like you're asking for a turnaround here in a situation. You got the uh, Seven of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you're wanting a turnaround and you're like, if this turnaround doesn't happen, I'm going to create it myself. Seven of Wands. Oh, okay. Some of you, there's like a lack of movement in a connection or a lack of movement somewhere else. Somebody's being vague. They're being unclear. I feel like you're going to push for answers. Whether this be at work, it's like, hey, you know, we talked about a promotion, but... Um, you know, I haven't heard anything back. I was just seeing if, um, you know, where we are with that, right? Um, just touching base with you about this because, you know, I just feel as if you're going to start um, being a little bit more firm, being a little bit more assertive and taking some more initiative and action on things that are slow moving or leaving you in the dark, you know? Um, if this is a connection or a friendship where somebody has kind of left you in the dark, I feel like you could be blocking that person out, okay? I feel like you could be shutting... Um, shutting someone out here because they're just not reliable. And I feel like they're also not really giving you any other option, Aries. So I do see that possibility showing up here as well. It might be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But that's what I'm seeing here for you, Aries. I hope that this was helpful uh, or fun or whatever you needed it to be. Don't forget the details are down below for anybody who's interested in personals. Like I said, it is a free question video reading. It is 2828. You get it within 48 hours. Uh, everything is down there if you're interested, of course. But Aries, if this is where we part, I want to thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you, and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.